welcome back to another my secret bistro video in this video i will be answering the questions why do i get rejected whenever i apply for a part-time job and why do my friends decline my request for their staff so let's answer the first question first when you visit a player like for example i will go to nana momo i know you guys probably know her I mean, she is very popular in the group. She's very generous. Thank you very much, Nana Momo. So, oh wait, I didn't see that pop up. Most of the time, that the, in the top left, this one pops up when you visit a person, but it disappears, right? So, before you think of applying on their PTs, you need to click that again and check what they wrote in there because most of the time there are rules for those um second floor pts third floor pts fourth floor fifth floor 2f 3f 4f and 5f means that it's the second floor third floor and so on okay so when nana momo said xx 5f and 4f xx that means you should not apply on her 4f and 5f unless you are her exchange partner and she also says 2f and 3f and then check marks that means you can apply to her 2f and 3f so these um all of these pts here are free for you to apply so you can get um coins from you can get coins if you apply here without her rejecting you but if you are not her exchange partner and you applied on 4F and 5F, even though you actually see available PTs, if you apply there, there's a high chance for you to get rejected because most of the time when a person says 5F and 4F XX, that means that those PTs on that floor are exchanged. There are people who is assigned for that job okay this is how you avoid getting rejected by a player or, b or by your bistro friend for a part-time job so if you do not want to waste your um, part-time applications um, because you can only apply to 20 part-times per day and that's the maximum unless of course you have that battery something but i don't really use it well if you get rejected your one pt is also compromised so instead of you actually working on 20 pts in a day that's if you don't get rejected you will have one less pt because you got rejected and you know that pts are very helpful with coins and xps uh, so my suggestion is for you to actually apply to pts apply to part-time jobs in your friend's bistro just the free ones so let's go back to my bistro my bistro says 2f free so you can apply wherever on my 2f i'm not that rich yet but I explicitly uh, explicitly said that 3F and 4F, please do not apply, but people still apply on 3F and 4F. Normally, um, normally, I reject the people who apply to my PTs if they're not my exchange partners. But I would message them that it's like that, that 3F and 4F is um, for exchange. You know, it's actually disheartening to actually reject people. So please just avoid actually applying to part-time jobs that an owner said not to apply to. It is not only stressful, but it's also, I don't know, uh, yeah, like that. And then let's go to the second question, which is the why do my friends decline my request for their staff a great example for this is also nana momo so let's go back to her bistro so here we go um here 
when you click explore this is where you can request her stuff so this one the first um lily says third island instead of lily she named lily as third island that means you have if you want to borrow this staff you have to put or you have to send her on the third island and then the rest are no potions no potions that means that if you borrow that staff you can't send that staff on starlight meadow on star uh, on starlight meadow or mount misty or just the cook island itself do not send them send them there because if the owner actually knows that you borrow their staff and then you usually just send them to the potion island which is the starlight meadow and the mount misty they'll end up rejecting you especially if you actually did it multiple times i mean mine mine are not as high level as nana momo's but there was one time that i really got um annoyed at the fact that most of my staff were borrowed just to be sent into the potion island i mean when when a staff actually turns you actually give back to the person you borrowed the staff from because uh, most of the time i think when you click the return, you get something back from where the person who borrowed sent the staff. So that's it. Um, so that's it. Basically, what this video is telling you is to actually read all of the stuff written on the top left, like on the three dots of the person's names. So this one. Um, Arod does not want you to apply on her 2F and 3F. Um, Curlin, 1F, 2F, 3F are open so you can apply to them, but the rest are closed. And like mine, 3F and 4F do not apply, 2F is free. So, yeah, I guess that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching my video and my other videos if you have. And it wouldn't be so bad too if you if you could watch my other videos but yeah thank you very much for the support and see you guys on my next video